Yep. Right back at the video, man. Hey, man, we got Black Chicago be like part one. This part two, damn. This part 100, part two, man. Hey, man, look, man. Y'all know we came here to do, man. Y'all know we didn't come here to do, man. We came here to get straight to the point. What we didn't come to do, man, is all that other stuff, man. That being said, man, let's get right to the video. All right, off my mic, bro. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, God, so Pete. On the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. Nah, but on Black Chicago, be like Power 100, Power 1. You used to stay watching Dragon Ball Z. No cap. My homie used his current card to buy motherfuckers something to eat. We bop out. I end up getting a FaceTime call from my cousin that stay in Atlanta. He tried to put me on this little stain that they had out there. My big call say he's sliding out there too. I think I remember for My cousin one really drawing off of it. He ain't really fuck with him for whatever reason. I tell cuzzo to be cool, but my gonna figure out a way to get out there. Big homie had to connect on some tickets. All right, so they took that bogus flight. Hopping on this janky ass flight, bro. Blew me. But my eventually made it to Atlanta. Bopped it to this little Uber. One hundred percent oblivious to the. Caught up on her baby daddy, right? Ended up taking place, bro. Never made it to our requested destination. Shorty ended up pulling up on her baby daddy in his home. So now. Sent it up. Eventually ended up linking up with my cousin. He took us to go meet with buddy that was supposed to be putting us in position for the little woo wop. We get in there, fool got somebody fork feeding him a strawberry Swiss roll from the balcony of his belly. <laughs> from the balcony of his belly, fool. This shit up. Anyway, but he laughing at his uh play to run up a motherfucker's crib. He sent the info to my cousin. We all pull up over there on business. Now me and my cousin, we go inside to confiscate the contents within. My cousin stayed outside to be the lookout. But whole time, the oh, yeah. space we was trying to infiltrate ended up coming home early. Cuz peeled off. They end up coming in the crib. And after that, everything was all bad. It was hard to process it all for real, for real. My homie got popped. We was blindsided. I barely even got away. I'm Paper steady calling my cousin. He denied my calls. My own blood left us for dead, basically. Whole time. I already know. At the end of the last episode, I had Chips Ahoy in my mouth, and now my shit done. So oh, my teeth do. is different. I know my hair is different. Look, I need y'all to work with me. Time it didn't really work out, so just ignore my head and ignore my teeth and just follow the storyline. Blessings. All right, we rolling, BZ? We rolling. All right, say less. And action. <laughs> Stranded in the A. My homie was dead. I had to figure out something. I had to figure out something fast. It came to me out of nowhere though. One of my best homies did stay in the A. I ain't have his number, but we were still friends on the book. I tried my luck and call him on there. He pick up. He, oh man, my motherfucking nigga, man. What's up, nigga? I, man, I'm fucked up for real, for real. I need you, I'm out here in the A. I need you to pull up on me for real, for real. He, man, say less, man. That shit you did for me in college, nigga, I'll never forget that shit, boy. I got you. Where you at, man? I'm finna pull up right now. Ah, shit, I don't even know for real, for real. I'ma just send you the address to one of these landmarks. And I'ma probably go to the corner and see if I can see a motherfucking street sign. And shit, I'ma just send that to you. He, man, bet I'm finna put the address on my GPS and then I'ma be in motion, man. Here I come. He hung up. My mind was racing. It was hard to believe that I was actually in the situation that I was in. Bogus One of my sale. favorite phrases that I live by 
is one day at a time. But at that point, it was one minute at a time. Not too long after though, my homie pull up in a range. He, hey man, come here, man. I was glad bro came through. Sick on the inside though. Got up off the curb about then. We stayed pied for a little second while I told him everything that transpired up until that point. He, I ain't gonna lie, man. That's the most fucked up shit I done heard in a minute. Ah, it is what it is, for real, for real. Life goes on, you know that. At this point, all I can do is figure out a course of action. He, man, don't worry about none of that shit, man. You, Fo, he got a Nike tattoo in the middle, fo. This nigga got a Nike tattoo right here, fo. What the f- Real nigga since day one. You hear me? Don't worry about that shit. I got you. You straight? We gonna handle that shit. Ah, man, I appreciate you. That's real nigga activity. He, look, man, dap me up. Don't worry about that, man. I'm gonna take your mind off that, man. Got some blunt money freaks we could pull up on. What you doing? You ain't doing shit. You was sitting outside when I pulled up looking homeless. Don't worry about that. We finna kick it, man. Yeah. Couple hours later, we pulled up and bopped out to this club in the A called Zavi. Ah, man, bro. I appreciate you for getting the motherfucker together, G. That's real nigga activity. Bless. He, man, I told you I'ma take care of you, man. The fit, everything fit. You look good. I'm glad you like it. I'ma need my shit back when the night over with. I'm just talking <laughs> shit, man. I'm going this motherfucker to turn up, man. Stop playing. God be looking now for real, for real. We slide in. It was over busting and I ain't even gonna hold you. But I always heard my fuck say it be busting in the A, no back. We proceeded to go take a seat in our section. Even though it was turned in the, it was hard for me to get into the spirit of things. Stress had my head thumping and my chest tight. My homie, hey man, what you drinking? I, man, I'm probably trying to see what's Takasa and his Migos. He, man, you gotta loosen up, man. What's wrong with you? We enjoying ourselves right now. All these motherfucking hoes in here, man. Smile. Ah. Aye, man. He. Man, show them big ass teeth. <laughs> Funny as hell. <laughs> he was right, though. I had to pull myself together. DJ was on point shit, so my fuck just got the vibe. Bottle service came through. You already know. Motherfuckers don't get sitchy till they get that lick. Motherfuckers had Patron, Casamigos, and Henny. Man, motherfuckers are not getting that. Baby, fucking like a porn star. We have real sex. I have nobody in our business. We take little chicks. And they zone, you hear me? Glowed up with a dab of ranch. And once I got the feeling that Casa, it was up that end. What the DJ got the plan? They didn't let the GDs in the door. <laughs> Hey, hey, they didn't let the GD in the dope. Bro. Hey, hey, you know at some point break ass, bro. Mm, mm, mm. My friend, uh, Duck T whining. Who I end up seeing in that? Oh, the ratchet ass baby mama and baby daddy from the Uber situation earlier. Mm, you know how that go, folks. Trying to see mm. what was to these little tellies up in there. Shorty he J down on was drawn. I love to see a real nigga winning. I wasn't trying to force nothing on my end. I was cooling. But then I peeped this little petite little patty cake, patty cake. Decent. Dancing on the couch. I instantly, yeah, 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 ski right over there to shorty. I hopped on the back of the couch. Stepped over some motherfuckers and some more shit. Hit my two-step right next to her, trying to get her attention. Without even looking my way, she, boy, what do you want? Uh-huh. Smooth as hell, like, I want you. She, well, I don't talk to niggas in the club. Damn. I, well, I'm not just saying anybody. She, and what make you think you so special? I, you might as well put my line in your phone and save it under 38. Fuck. She, <laughs> Boy, that was cute. You should take my line. Bingo! I reach and take out my phone. Take her line. Do, do, do. 
do 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 Sweating hard as hell. I was so lit, I don't remember much of nothing after that point. Woke up the next morning. Forgot where I was at for a sec. Head knocking. Last night started to come back to me. Had me wondering, did I whoop shorty or not? I lift up the blanket to check my mans. Dry as hell. <laughs> Blew me. As I got up, though. Hell no, folks. Yes, <clears throat> just start hitting me. Uppercutting your ass, right? Punching punch me all in my chest. My homie, gang violence. You all right? Ah, man, that motherfucking Casamigos put you in your place. Yeah, he. Yeah, man, that Casamigos for the free codes, man. Then I had to carry you in the house. You ain't nothing but 105 soaking wet, so I ain't tripping. Talking about 105. My apologies. But nah, we really got to see what's to that shit today, though. He already handled that shit, man. Actually, we can go see this nigga right now. Go on, get your shit together, man. Tighten up. Ah, yeah? He, what I tell you, man? I am my brother's keeper, man. Let's ride. I got this shit tatted right here. And walked away. I need to get a rehead out, but that shit is tatted on me. You know that. Got up and got myself together. We get to full crib. My homie was telling me he called for me. He. Look, if there's anybody can find your motherfucking cousin, it's Kevin, man. Trust me, we're gonna find this nigga. Bam, man, rich I, ass. Real nigga activity. I appreciate you. Hey, come on, man. I told you I got you, man. It's okay, man. We're gonna handle that shit. We continued upstairs where we were met by a security guard with an uncanny resemblance to Gerald Levert. My homie, Big Dog. What's up, man? I ain't seen you in never, man. I don't even know you. We here to see Big Kev, man. We got business to handle. Turn up now. Gerald pat my bed, calm me down. Make sure he ain't had no concealed weapons. While he was being mean mugged by what I assume was one of Big Kev's armed henchmen. My homie, don't shoot, I wanna grow up, man. Look, let me tell you something, you are so ugly. You know what I mean, <laughs> buddy? Bro, I don't even play them type of games. My homie, my, my, my bad, you just need to hang around people that tell you the truth. That's all I'm saying. Come on, bro, we got shit to do. All that plan, shout out to that boy, funny. Gerald proceeded to Frisk me and grant me access to him. Kevo, good afternoon. Richard. What brings you broke niggas here today? My homie, look, man, why we gotta be broke? God damn, man, you knew I was coming. I called you. I told you I was on the way. I got a partner. You need some help, man. We looking for a nigga. I know you're the only person can find them fours, man. You got a lot of ice on. You look good. Happy birthday. It's your birthday? Kevo, every day my birthday, nigga. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. But you know, favors ain't free. So what we talking about? My homie, nigga, every day my birthday too. Nigga, iced up, nigga, shit. But for real though, my partner need a situation taken care of in the streets, man. Kevo, he a grown man, ain't he? Let him talk. So what's up? I whole time I appreciate you for even hearing motherfuckers out, but I got a little situation here in the A. I'm from Chicago. My cousin, Reggie, baby, I don't know if you heard of him. Kevo, Reggie with the green dreads, the short midget, nigga. Yeah, I know him. Ah, yeah, shit, he put me in my bed, called me in a little situation yesterday. My bed, called me, got murdered in cold blood because of that nigga. I'm just trying to find him. Motherfuckers got to stand on business about that, for real, for real. Kevo, shit, I feel you. My condolences. But what can you do for me? Ah, I mean, shit, not too much, for real. I'm straddling the line of poverty. Whole time, but whatever you need me to do, I'm there for it. Real nigga activity. Kevo, I feel you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's real. But you know what? I think there is something you could do for me. Right after that, he reached for a piece of paper and slid it in front of me. All the information you need is on that piece of, piece of paper. I want you to bring me the package back, unopened and untampered with. And I got you. Grateful. I say less. Thank you. My homie, I could tell that third grade handwriting right there. Did you write that shit? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. You know I fuck with you, man. You a cool nigga. You cool with me. You looked out for my nigga and shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. <coughs> Your hands stank a little bit. Come on, man. Let's get the fuck up out of here, man. Come on, man. This a dumbass nigga right here, man. Yeah, but look. Y'all make sure to let me know when y'all on the way back. Be safe and stay dangerous. Ah, blast. That's my homie. Happy birthday, nigga. Dumb as hell. Sweet walked out the directions on the paper 
led us to the poolside area some condominium my homie hey man you sure this the right spot ah I, I mean no the piece of paper say right here it's the pool area it's unfortunate ain't no holes in it but now nah, this it my homie what we doing that i don't even know how to swim man i hope he ain't bullshit, Shit, i do us, man them chains ain't bulletproof don't tell him i said that man i'm just bullshitting let's go man i am for no gray nah for real though i think that's who we supposed to see over there not too far ahead with this dude motioning us over ah good day kind sir i'm here to pick up a package from he a package huh what type of package my homie we damn sure ain't talking about no herpes goddamn niggas hey come down here and get a box on a piece of paper he got us on this wild goose hunt what you got you got the box we need the box he hmm a box i don't know about a box but i do have a rectangular piece of paper that i can turn into a circle ah man watch out what you want what's to you he the box the box you came looking for i tell you what if you can tell me here how many balls i have in my hand the box is yours to have a walk in the park ah oh no he, negative so what i was saying was no ball out man what type of wick certificate witchcraft you got going on man he I. Right. you want the box and then proceeded to reach into a square casing and pull out a wild bird my homie okay bird man is Lil Wayne in your hat or something like that is you gonna pull him out next man what you gonna do with that bird man buddy what 2018 movie was Sandra Bullock playing in where she was blindfolded in the beginning of the film. My homie, both colored girls. Ah, man, don't listen to this imbecile. Let me think. Oh, that no. I was pondering hard as hell. Ah, wait a minute. What is Bird Box? He, you're correct. What is Bird Box? Right after that, he took the bird and returned it to the square casing, spent it around, and it magically turned into a cardboard container. Ah, wow, my homie. I just, I still can't believe it One four color girls. It one four color girls? Come on, man, goddamn, man. Buddy, good job, black man. And handed me the container. Ah, man, thank you so much. You just don't know how, how important this is, for real. You're doing a great justice for somebody on the low low. He, I'm glad I could be of service. Now take care. Ah, blessings. Words couldn't express how happy I was. So happy I Come. damn near dropped the container in the pool. Goofy as hell. But we made sure to get it to Big Kevo. I'm a gloomy assured me that he would assign somebody to take care of that business for me expeditiously though all i could do was trust his word and wait later on that day i remember sitting around before i got a text i checked my phone it's kevo he my condolences you're welcome one nothing but a little bit of straightening i hate it had to be my cousin but Ain't no honor when it's war. Moral of the story, blood ain't always thicker than water. No bullshit. Oh God. Ain't no honor when it's war. Nick what her say, folks? Uh, I forgot, folks. Y'all be smooth, busy, but keep your head up, man. I love y'all.